So this is going to the Napa Museum. Don't do that. That's cool. It's going to the Napa Museum? Yeah, it's going to the Napa Museum. It's beautiful. And, um, yeah, so the concept was the upside down. And whatever you interpret, the upside down is whatever you interpret. Like, it could be, like, the proportion of your body doing something upside down. It could be anything. So I was like, all right. And originally my idea was to do, like, death and, like, some type of, like, resurrection or connection to God. But I didn't do that. I did this. So, basically... I wanted to put something very, like something that's happening right now. Um, originally, we were going to do like the Napa Valley fires and their homes being destroyed, but they still have like the family, their children, you know. But um, I chose this because I watched that documentary, The White Helmet. So, in that documentary, they talk about how Syria is having 208 airstrikes every day. And they have, like, that volunteer organization, the White Helmet. So, they basically sacrifice their lives to save their brothers and sisters. So, I was like, Marilyn was very upside down. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, pretty much, I put all the different elements of, like, the airplane that's having, like, those air bombs. Yeah. Um, hold that for me. Just hold it. Another person coming through to save the, that child and like the bombed air, you know, apartments or whatever. But mainly, the white helmets pretty much have this moment called um, discovering like the miracle baby. Uh -huh. And they, this child was less than a week old, and his entire house collapsed on him. The family, you know, evacuated, but they were looking for their son. So they spent over sixteen hours going through concrete, going through rocks, going through all whatever to find this child. And luckily they found the child and he was still alive. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. yeah. So I was like, I'm gonna put that into this painting. Mm -hmm. Um and so there's the baby. There's that baby. It's called the Miracle Baby. I love it. Wow. So they're basically picking up the rocks and the rubble yeah, from to get off of the baby to get the baby. Wow. Um and then they have like this heavy, heavily like um, the symbol of like the white dove as uh -huh. being like a message of peace and freedom and like their integrity. So they release white doves. Um, I'm not saying every day, but they release them pretty much for that type of symbolism. So mm -hmm. um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. So I want to kind of make it 3D because I wanted to have that chaos and that yeah. realism. But um, yeah, that's. And so Syria, Syria is always uh, having some type of um, uh, turmoil or trouble. Yeah. Mm. That's beautiful, Christine. Beautiful. That is and beautiful story. And even the region Oh, it says we are always optimistic that what's to come is better. Justice will prevail one day. Without hope, what's what good is life? Yeah. So. Yeah, that is amazing. That's pretty much it. And um, is this this documentary? <clears throat> it's on Netflix. It's on Netflix. It's, on it's Netflix. called White Helmet. The White Helmet. Mm -hmm, the it's White like Helmet. the craziest documentary I've ever right. seen. But um, wow. yeah. And the dove represents what? The Holy Spirit or like, no? The, the freedom. Like the freedom. freedom. Mm -hmm. It's the face too. It's the face. Yeah. And it's like the thing is what's so crazy is that they go through seeing their mothers, their fathers, their sons, their yeah. sisters die in front of them. And they still have this head, like this, this faith. Yeah. Still, and that's like, man, we're so easily just giving up. Like, well, what's that? Like, you know, what I'm saying we're exactly. so easy, but they see these people that go exactly. through this every single day. It's like hell every day. Yeah. They still say, yeah. yeah. So I was like, I have to. This is like, <laughs> I have to. It's still happening. Oh, um, that is really but, good. And I like how, how. You made like the rubble and that down there. I'm not sure what that is at the bottom. Uh, it's just like it's just more like moss and like yeah. grass texture. Yeah. But um, how you made it like that? Yeah, this took for well. I mean, how like, long did it take for you to compile this? Okay, so I I was I was kind of slipping. <sighs> I could have done this in 10 days, but I didn't. It took me like 19 days, but out of those nine days, I was like not doing anything. Yeah. So, because <laughs> I started, like, I started Maybe drawing <laughs> it January 9th. It was January 28th. Uh-huh. Yeah, I started drawing it January 28th, and I had to finish it by 
technically I finished by February 14th. Yeah. But those little days, I was doing nothing. I was even not drawing you nothing. You were having a hard time getting was, into it. No, them. I was lazy. That's oh, you just called yeah, procrastination lazy. to its finest. Yeah. But, um, yeah, it took to it. But when I was doing it, it took so long. Like, this here and, like, this, like, anywhere you see smoke, it's a mixture of baby powder glue and paint yeah um, smear it and got everywhere I had allergic reaction to baby powder which is like <laughs> yeah but yeah and like putting the rocks and pretty much like the clay like this is all clay yeah this is clay anywhere you see extra texture yeah uh-huh. this is foam on top of clay yeah and I made it into like rocks and like <coughs> pretty much all of this is just clay and baby powder and, and that mixture. Yeah. That's a it's a it's a minute. Awesome. And the bird has really good. good. And the bird has good <laughs> but don't let the bird look bad. The bird, the bird, the the bird, bird is good. The bird, the bird was supposed to have a whole bunch of them, but you know, I was too lazy, so you And know. I say look like a Victoria's Secret bird. <laughs> but, <laughs> Right. <laughs> yeah, I think it's kind of cool that the bird kind of stands out and over the picture because, like you said, you know, despite what they're going through, through you know, their faith is strong. And mm. I mean, from a from a spiritual point of view, the dove always represents faith, hope, and love. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. right. But I I never drew a baby either, so that took me like right. took me forever. The baby look real. I've never drawn a baby in my life, and this baby looks like baby. Yeah, and he <laughs> found like, a baby too. Yeah, over he there. found a baby over there too. So yeah, um, yeah, that's that's pretty much. And it. then the the color of the 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 men who are right there, the mm-hmm. red shirt and the blue shirt, is very vibrant. They look good. Yeah, I like that's, it. That's it. It's going to go to the museum to see if I get best of show. If I get best of show, that would be amazing. Nice. Yeah, because it's like, I think the awards is like best of show, first place, second place, and then people's choice. Yeah. So if I get best of show, that would be amazing. That's a lot of work. It I'm is. Like, you know what I'm saying? But um, that's it. That's awesome. That's, I love it.